why did you refuse to be the Haskell's head coach countless times? I've been there, done that. Too much politics, like I said. Uh, like I posted one time a few days ago, coaching is a thankless job. With what's happening with Michael Weiss, uh, we've talked about it already before, uh, personally, one-on-one, -on -one, and I said, it happens. And I said, you should know that because you've worked also somewhere in other countries as well. Uh, there's no such thing as a permanent job in coaching, in any sport. Here we go, folks. It's a special day in Philippine football, and uh, not because it's another day. <laughs> another hands-on episode is here in front of you, but the first order of business that we need to talk about this afternoon is the fact that we have these badass <laughs> mugs that you're now going to show. Excuse me while I drink my coffee. Oh, look at that. Hands-on. Not close up. It's on the shirt. It's on the mug, right? And it's, it's also available on nmftv.com slash merchandise. We're stepping up in the world, folks. We're selling mugs. Oh, what a nice one. <laughs> no, seriously, though, that's pretty badass. Um, yeah, so you guys can check it out. nmftv.com slash merchandise. Please do check it out. Help out the show. Why, why, why not, right? Why not? Best show in Philipp uh, uh, about Philippine football. Because it's, like, <laughs> it's the only one, right? We can claim that. We can claim that. Um, is this being uh, sold on Zillion at all? No? We should get this on zillion.ph. Um, like the way I got my goals uh, quite recently. Oh, you got them already, yeah. Working out on my finishes in my backyard, not bad, right? That's the, well, the right. The that's guy. actually like a life size replication of my height right there, <laughs> of that kid. That's just me. Um, but yeah, my finishing's been getting a lot better. You guys can purchase the same thing on zillion.ph. You guys can get 10% off. They're already offering awesome discounts on the website itself, but if you use our promo code, uh, you will get an extra 10% off. The promo code is HO10OFF. That stands for hands on and then spell out spell 10 off. T E N O F F. Right. Website so, <laughs> for the PIN, but it will never open. Check it out. There it is. That's the website, zillion.ph. And look at that. That's a, that's a sweet little photo of us, right? Yeah. Check it out. Uh, HO10OFF, um, zillion.ph. Make sure you do that. All right? Because um, you'll be helping out the show as well. We got a little small cut. You know, <laughs> help Coach Hans with his uh, salon expenses. Yeah, I know. And it's expensive to have <laughs> Now, quite recently, Coach Hans, you actually participated in something very interesting. Javianis had a cup. Uh, yeah. Tell us about, about that. Um, obviously, you were very busy, and uh, I didn't get a chance to go myself, so you're going to mm. have to fill me in on what happened. Yeah, well, we had a Javianis cup. It's the first Javianis mm. cup. We had uh, quite a number of uh, age groups. A lot of the players had fun. They had a lot of fun. You didn't uh, shout at anybody, did you? Nah, only the referees. <laughs> only the referees. That's <laughs> usual. And That's they normal, deserve it. Of course. <laughs> uh, we had it in the Ayala Bang Country Club, uh, which you get, like you, the best uh, fields for this. And uh, Ooh, all I can say is a lot of the kids really had fun. Even the open divisions had a lot of fun. Uh, the winners, even up to the third placers, were able to get some prizes from Havana. So, like the champions. Who's that handsome coach there? Uh, Look at you. Uh, this is, uh, how do you say? Oh, by the way, that thing in white? Yeah. He came out champion. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, this one in white? Yeah, yes, yes. Ah, that's well, what I like about Coach Hans. Very yeah. humble. I'm very humble, really. Right. Uh, that's what my parents told me to be. <laughs> humble. Uh, like this, uh, you see? A lot of the kids in the other festival don't even waste their time doing those uh, position kicking mm. and things like that. They had a lot of fun then. And we had, uh, we had uh, an all-star, you see? That was Dennis Wolf a while ago, this Armand Del Rosario. Yeah. Freddy Gonzalez. Freddy Gonzalez. A lot of UFL stars here. Oh, yeah, there were a lot of people there that, uh, that played. Uh, uh, that's Patrick Dato there. And who's that? Oh, that's me. Why am I <laughs> asking my. <laughs> uh, definitely, this will not be the first and the last, for sure. Uh, I've told Freddy Gonzalez and Anne, uh, his uh, very busy, busy wife about having another Javianas again. How many people showed up? They, 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 they had a lot of fun, man. I, I would like to tell them maybe next time, before having a festival, they can make it a beach festival first, right? Beach and then how, go festival time. Yeah, how many people showed up to that? Oh, I don't, a lot, a lot. The, the whole day, the, the, the whole area was filled up. The whole uh, polo field of the yeah. Ayala Bang Club was filled up. Can't so. feel better missed out. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, of course, um, talking about Javianas, 
I do have to mention something very quickly here. Um, Brazil's well-loved flip-flops brand, Javianes, spreads the football love this season. And with this limited edition Javianes team's collection, a highlight of the world's great football nations of Brazil, France, Spain, Portugal, Germany, among other countries. Not only will you channel the pride of the sport and these nations, a percentage of sales from the Javianes team's collection will go to Field of Hope, a football advocacy program that is using football as a tool for social change and development for children affected by the typhoon Yolanda. So awesome stuff. Visit www.teamhavianas.com and follow them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to know more about Field of Hope and Havianas Teams Collection and be united for hope with hashtag Team Havianas. United with passion in every step, visit www.teamhavianas.com to be in the know with the Havianas Teams Collection. Awesome stuff. Yeah, and Freddie, I, I, I need the one in the corner. The Which one? one that says Netherlands. Oh. Okay, you guys owe me one pair. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm worried that uh, the sales of Team Spain have dropped tremendously <laughs> overnight. And that's because Spain, champions of Europe two times in a row, first. champions of the world four years ago, yeah. knocked out in the group stages. First. Ugh. First team to be knocked out. Uh, didn't get a single point. Not a yeah. single point from Spain in the World Cup. Um, they scored a goal? Nope. Ugh. One. Oh, they scored one. Against the uh, Netherlands. That's right. They scored one the against the Netherlands. One. The first one. That's the first it. goal. First and last. Huh. So, um, a lot of the, the, the Spain wag bandwagon has been depleted overnight. That's not good. Well, don't worry about the bandwagon. There are a lot of people who talk a lot. <laughs> they don't know shit about what's happening. Uh, a lot of my friends have been uh, unable to get out of their own house houses because they are part Spanish and they are also Miami <laughs> Heat fans. So, they're just staying at home sulking. It's horrible. Uh, but yeah, the World Cup has been very entertaining. Yes. Um, yeah. Since it started last weekend, um, man. It's been just goals, 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 and spectacular attacking football. Yeah. Very little have we seen of teams that have uh, uh, focused more on defensive shape yeah. and sort of, you know, we're going to play on the counter today. No, everybody's going all guns blazing. It's yeah. going pretty crazy. I think it's the only World Cup in the first round, the first few ga first games of all the groups. There were a lot of goals. Yeah. I mean, the draw started, what, on the third day? There was only one 0-0 zero, zero draw. I think that was um, uh, Iran and Nigeria. Yeah. Since then, everybody's been playing. Oh, Brazil and Mexico had one recently. Yeah. But that's about it. Everybody's been scoring goals. So let's talk real quick. Let's show like just Group A uh, real quick where Brazil is at. Uh, they started off with a win against Croatia. A little controversial in the way things happened. Croatia had opened the scoring, and then Brazil got back into it. Um, and there was a, a, an in interesting penalty call as well. But Brazil walked away with the first win, and they drew against Mexico. So they are tied with four points each. Croatia recently won their game against Cameroon. They won quite easily 4-0 in that one. So it'll be interesting heading into the final day of this group. Mexico will be playing Croatia. Brazil will be playing Cameroon. Brazil expected to go through. Mexico yes. and Croatia, yes. anybody's ball game. Yep. Oof, it's going to be a good one. Uh, let's check Group B. Real quick, where, like we said, the Netherlands are through. So is Chile. Uh, Chile, 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 whatever. Chile. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Australia and Spain, unfortunately, have been knocked out. Especially Australia, considering that they gave the Netherlands oh. one heck of a game yes. just last night. Um, never expected Australia to I think it's also the short. first time in any of the World Cups. I'm, correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Anybody can say. But I think it's the first time in the, any World Cup that two goals were scored in a minute's time. Possibly, not sure. From what I remember, but at least it was very memory. close. It was it was a, a case of the response yes. in this game. Netherlands opened the scoring. Uh, Australia immediately after restoring uh, the parity, and then mm. Australia getting a goal. Netherlands getting another one, and then it was you know I, wrapped up. I hate to admit it, but in the beginning, the the dive header of uh, Van Persie was touted to be the goal of the, uh, of the year. Right, the, right. Year. But against uh, uh, David Perkovic would love Spain. this, but oh my God, the goal of uh, Cahill was Ooh. something else. I wish that is a Van Persie goal. I wish we had a replay of that. Um, yeah. That was a Van Persie goal. I, I hear Robin Van Persie suing. First um, touch. Copyright. <laughs> Volley, beautiful. Unbelievable. Um, so that was just last night's game. Let's take a look at the other groups real quick. Um, group C is led by Colombia and Cote d'Ivoire. As of the moment, Japan lost against Ivory Coast. That was a difficult one to take. Uh, Greece with no points as well. Group D, Costa Rica on top after beating Uruguay. That was a shock yeah, yeah. Uh, in the tournament. Uh, England lost to Italy, uh, but uh, I, I hear it's a good game from England as well. So yes. I'm going to be checking them out against Uruguay later on this morning. So no sleep once again. <laughs> Group E, 
France ahead as well as Switzerland. They took care of business pretty easily. France took care of Honduras. Switzerland taking care of Ecuador. These two teams are supposed to be getting into the next round. Yeah. France and Switzerland. Yeah, so uh, it, it's, it, it's panning out the way it's been planned uh, as of the moment. Let's look at Group F where Lionel Messi has helped Argentina to a win. Uh, they won against Bosnia and Herzegovina. I think that's how you yeah. say his name. Um, yeah, uh, Iran and Nigeria played to a kind of a boring goalless yeah, draw. Yeah, yeah. So they have one goal, uh, one point apiece. Group G, Germany leads after uh, destroying, who is it they destroyed? Portugal. Portugal. Is who they scored, uh, destroyed. Pepe got sent off. Yeah. Thomas Müller uh, scored a couple. But uh, you know what? I'd like to say something. I think in the second half, uh, maybe the insertion of Joachim, uh, what's his name, the head coach of Germany. Hmm. To me, the way I saw them play in the second half is just, I think they were too ashamed to, to, to massacre Portugal more. Well, they only scored one goal in the second half. Yeah. No, no, really. They were playing like, there were so many chances that they could have uh, taken the shot or made the cross, but instead they brought it back again, they right. shifted again and all this. They were playing actually, you know, like a, it was just like a scrimmage. Uh, Portugal, regardless of how they played, I think they're, they're just another, like, another Spain, uh, this World Cup. Uh, I read a lot of posts uh, that you know Portugal is a team. It's not a Ronaldo team. Is it? That's what I say. Uh, actually, it wasn't really. He tried to do things on his is own. That, is that why they're forcing him to play, even though he's not 100 percent? Yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe. But no, you guys can't think of it. You know what? Ronaldo's a superstar. He's a player of, of you know world-class talent. Mm -hmm. He's one of the best. Uh, <laughs> he just tried to do his thing to help his team. I don't think it was. The, I don't think any coach would be so stupid enough to, I don't know, World Cup, you know, uh, would, 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 how do you say, uh, concentrate his attack on just one player. No, right. No, no. Um, yeah, so Group G, as of the moment, Germany ahead, as well as USA, who got a good win against Ghana. That was a crucial one First for time. the United States. First, First time. time. They beat I them. remember Thomas Doody, remember? Yeah. Twice, USA was uh, kicked out because of Ghana. Now, they had a chance to redeem themselves, and they did it quite well. I think Clint Dempsey scored in like uh, in 30, within 30 seconds of the game. Yeah. <laughs> and they got a crucial winner at the end of it. So there you go, the yeah. USA uh, ahead in that group along with Germany. Now, the last group is uh, Belgium um, in the leading spot after winning their game against Algeria. Korea, Republic, and Russia played to a draw. It was a 1-1 draw. Yeah. A bit of a mistake from the Russian keeper. Oh, uh, yeah. So He's considered one of the best in the world. But. <laughs> Simple. Yeah, so. <laughs> Coach Isa. Unfortunate. Take note. So, so there you go. Belgium ahead of that one, and we will give you updates on uh, how things are going over there in Brazil. Hey, can we next discuss a little bit as well? About, there's a lot of people saying about officiating. Mm. Yeah, uh, I could say. But you know what? The game of the first game. Uh, Brazil. Was Brazil. They're Croatia. saying it's a penalty. Yeah. Guys, look at the hand of the defender. That was what the referee saw. It's the hand that was here that brought the player down. Mm. Was it Fred that they brought down or whatever, no? I don't know. It's a penalty. I only saw the first half of that. We were hosting the, the, the Greenbelt viewing party mm. at mm. the time. And yeah. I just called the game a global winning the title against Pachanga. Mm. And then I was staying up until 4 o'clock. I was like, dude, I'm going to watch the first half and that's it. So I didn't get to finish that game. But yeah, I saw on the Twitter feed that there was a lot of controversy with the referee. He's a Japanese guy, right? Then the other thing that we'd like to discuss, because a lot of people are asking, uh, actually it's my, one of my sons who told me, that new innovation, the spray, that's mm. foam. Yeah. I thought it was something uh, different, uh, how do you say, invisible paint or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's foam. So people are discussing, like in one of the talk shows last night, uh, sports talk shows, uh, you know, it's not going to be e easy to bring it here because there's no stock. Right. Hey, shaving cream lang yan, Philippines. <laughs> but for other people who are wondering how come there is such a thing now, that new in, that innovation, is because now the FIFA is stressing on that 60 second thing, the 60, that's because of uh, time wasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of flopping, and then, you know, when you make a wall, most of the time when the referee goes to his position, yeah. the wall will step up and all this. It'll inch about five feet. Yeah. So <laughs> now. Even the ball will be moved closer. Yeah, yeah. With that innovation, the players have no choice but to stay there, even if the ref it doesn't. Ah, kita, kita uh, kita you cannot move over. Uh, you cannot go over that line. That's a good thing. I think that that helps the game faster. Yeah. Because 
most of the time, there's a lot of time wasting because of that. Because the rule was, I remember before this innovation, now you don't have to use that rule anymore. Because mm. if you get a red, yellow card because of stepping over the, the line, then you're really pretty And dumb. it's really easy to tell. Though. Yes, no, yes. It, it's a good development, it really is. Oh, which, by the way, we forgot to talk about Global FC clinching the title. Mm. Uh, three games to spare when they did it against uh, Pachanga PLTT Home Fiber. Yeah. That was super convincing. They won 7 2. Uh, they started off the season losing 4 0 to Lola Lo mm -hmm. Morocco Sparks, but. Mm -hmm. Um, they've only they've won 18 of their 22 games. We'll make that 19 of their 23 games. Yeah. Um, unbelievable! They scored more than 103 goals. Yes. Um, they've only given up about 18. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, to lose 4-0 to start your campaign and to go on and just be so prolific after that, fully deserving of the championship. I have an issue with awarding the trophy to Global. Since they still have about how many more games after Couple, this? They had three more games after this. And they beat Sakuru, they beat Kayan, and then okay. they're going to play the uh, one more Loyola. The stallion. The stallion. The stallion. Yeah. Now I have an issue with presenting the trophy there. Why? Oh, a league type. Is it the same way done in other countries? Yeah. Right when after the game that, or on the last game. Um, from what I understand, once you win the trophy, there will be some sort of presentation, or at least on your home pitch. Okay. Um, but the thing is, there is no home pitch in Empedador. Yeah. And I think with um, being part of the discussions as well in the UFL, as uh, when thinking about whether to present the title here or yeah. three days later, yeah. or whenever it will be, the idea was that once you win the game, there's a lot of euphoria. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of, you know, you want to celebrate the fact that you've clinched the title and we wanted to make sure to capture the emotions of the players, the emotions of the That coaches. can still be done if it is in the beginning before the league. I'm sorry to the UFL, right. okay, uh, but this is my personal view. Right. If we don't, if we, in the beginning alone of the league, we say the league champions will be presented on their last game. Because it, it, you know, I'm talking as a fan. You know, people who watch on TV, people who go to the stadium to watch, you go there, what fun is it watching when you already know uh, these teams already presented the trophy they're playing, right. they're still playing. If, if it was, you know, on the last day or the last match day of, let's say, Global now, since they won it, you know, gives more time for Global to get all the fans together to the stadium, uh, a better presentation maybe, right. done, things like this. I mean, not yet, that. Because the presentation was just handed over. There was really nothing. It was helter skelter. Understandably, of course, the global players were very happy and all that, but uh, personally, I'd like to give, to present that on the last day, on right. the last day. I think that, I believe there will be. I think yeah. there's going to be two. So there's going to be a big, mm -hmm. you know, celebration with uh, individual trophies ah, okay. and all of that okay. after uh, the final game. Uh, but it was important to get that shot as well, mm -hmm. sort of, because mathematically, yeah. Yeah. champion and in the Mandela game, yeah. but there's no use skirting yeah. around the issue. And pretending as if they're not champions. Yeah, so because like you know, so given their celebration, the games after that. Also, I noticed it wasn't that exciting anymore. It's true. I mean, the clubs weren't you, playing to. There's you know, there's really no way to avoid that. I mean, yeah, they're gonna know internally, anyways. No, but no, yeah, the clubs will know, coaches, players will know, but there's still no presentation. So you know, like like I watched the replay yesterday of Loyola. Pasargat. Yeah. Pasargat came only with 12 players, no goalkeeper. To be fair, they've done that like the last three games as well. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> kind of happy that they're Loyola not. also played nonchalantly. Yeah. They were able to score, what, five, I think? Yeah. That's five nil, but the keeper uh, was not the keeper, he's a defender, Cross. Yeah. Uh, if, if there was still a fight for something, I think that the games will be, will be more exciting. Right. You know, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know how to put in words, but. Right. It would be better, I think. You present it. Never mind. Everybody knows. <laughs> Atletico Madrid. Everybody knew they're gonna win. But yeah. you know, they present it at the last. That's because the game, the the, the title went all the way down. That's what happened. Yeah. But yeah. but I personally, I don't care what anybody says. Personally, <laughs> it'd be better to give it at the end. All right. We got great guests on the show today, but we, we do. do we do have to mention okay. that uh, Coach David Perkovich will not be renewing his his contract with Kai FC. He's done a great job transforming the club back yeah. to title. Uh, challenge uh, to becoming title contenders again, uh, but yeah, it's only been a year and three months, and he's going to be leaving. So yes, it's, it's, it's sad to see him go, uh, considering that you know we had an opportunity to interview him, to bring yes. him, to understand his philosophy, the way he, um, the, the demands that he places on his players, 
and, and his knowledge of the game has been, uh, you know, a benefit yeah. to uh, a positive factor in Philippine football that hopefully we'll be able to hold on to and, and, and push forward for the next yes. few years. And hopefully this won't be the last stint but that I think David, David Perkovic has in the Philippines. You're resigning because you just want to go back to Oz and just ride your bike again. No? <laughs> Tell me the truth, man. So there you go. Good luck, David. Good luck, good luck. All right. Uh, sorry, ladies. Um, it took a while to get down through everything in the rundown. Uh, but we do have um, history makers on the show today. They've done a... Best showing. An unbelievable job. And Philippine football has been setting landmark after landmark after landmark. And quite recently at the under-14 level uh, of, the, uh, of the girls' uh, competition, we have been able to create more history moving all the way to the finals. Uh, losing out by just a single goal. Single goal, yeah. Um, so we will ha we'll be talking to the coaches uh, that were responsible for such a great campaign uh, in just a little bit. We're going to be cutting for a short commercial break. When we come back, we will have Coach Led, uh, Coach Led, Coach Joyce, and Coach Melissa. Can I call, call you Melissa? That's no, don't call her Melissa. Nobody Isa. knows her Melissa. Isa. Isa. All right, cool. All right. Short commercial break. <laughs> we'll be right back with the under 14 coaching staff. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. First, open iTunes. Your next step, hit the iTunes Store button. A search bar should open up as soon as you do that. Type New Media Factory in the search bar and all your shows should open. Pick the show you like, or all the shows you like, and once that opens, hit the subscribe button. And that's it. You're in. All shows will now be automatically downloaded to your device. Hi guys, it's me, Tita K. Tita K! Come and hang out on Live Love Laws. Let's talk about makeup, beauty. Hi, Ganda. Who's that? We can talk about ugly too. Nah, no, just kidding. And of course, Donya problems galore. Yeah, yeah. Ang special pake on fashion, shopping. Oh my God, shopping! I love shopping. Ah, food. We gotta talk about food. Anything and everything on cyberspace. Let's buy everything. We can talk about glamour and ubusan nang glamour. We fly Wednesday, 6 to 7 p.m. only on nmfnetwork.tv. Tell me, what is football for you? Wow, football, that's my livelihood. That's my life. That's, my life revolves around sport. That's it. I mean, everything is there. It's not football, it's nothing else. All right, welcome back to the show. Like we said, uh, history makers on the show today. Awesome, look at that. Look at that. NMF TV slash merchandise. Check that out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, like we said, history makers on the program. Um, earlier in the year, we had uh, the Street Child World Cup team make it all the way to the finals, yeah. right? Uh, we had our Challenge Cup. Uh, men's team well, go the all the way to the finals yeah. as well, and our under 14 girls, girls. team uh, competed in the recent stress uh, on the girls. A recent under 14 uh, girls championship, and they went all the way to the finals as well. And en route to the finals, they were destroying teams left and right. Okay. Um, and this is the first time, correct me if I'm wrong, coaches, that the whole coaching staff are all female. Ooh. First time. So um, yeah, I mean. Incredible story that uh, developed over the last few days, um, and you guys had made it all the way to the finals. Obviously, a little um, disappointed that you guys didn't go all the way. But tell us about the journey, um, the whole campaign that you guys. Let's had introduce to them with. first. Oh, that's right. Let's how, introduce how, how, uh, how the you cameras. know these people better than better than. No, me. no, they were already coaching. I was still a player. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, coach. Well, us. for we have a camera here. We have Coach Let, uh, 
Dim Son here. Uh, she's the head coach of the girls 14 now. Beside her is uh, Joyce and Dagan. And on the nearest to Jing is Coach Aisa. She's mm -hmm. the goalkeeping coach uh, who used to play for me when she was in the youth. That's right. Ngayon, the youth na. Coach Lett uh, played for FEU. Coach Joyce played for UST for a time being. <laughs> coach <laughs> Aisa is from UP. So I just wanted to stress. UAP is represented here. Okay, I mean, they're UAP That's products. Right. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so, yeah. Congrats first. First of all, yes. Ladies. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, great stuff. I mean, obviously, everybody in the Philippine footballing community is very excited that, uh, you know, we're developing at such a young age now that we're competing and, and winning at that level. Tell us about the, the journey that you guys have to, to go through. And this is the first time that the under 14 has moved uh, to such a stage, right? Please, yeah. Coach Len. Uh, from what? From the time of start. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait. This tournament. What was it? What's this? ASEAN, IFC, AFF, and all that. So the so the viewers would know, because some viewers they think it's just a simple small tournament that they never heard of, <laughs> you know. But it's the same. It's organized. It's under FIFA. It's under. Is it AFC? Yes. It's AFC. AFC. So it's just like the Challenge Cup on in the youth level, and 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 our Philippine team girls have reached the finals. Okay, and it's. No mean feat to, it's not no easy feat to do, considering the, the challenges that they had because the previous, I think they, they played against the same teams. And that these teams that they beat this year were, beat, uh, were beating them the previous years. So, this is like the highest level of uh, competition <coughs> at this age bracket yes. in Asia. Yes. In Asia. Okay. That's, that's, that's a lot of, lot of, lot of quality. Yeah, at that level. yeah. So how did you guys start it? Uh, how long was your preparation? Okay, what did you do have to do to get all these players? So first we started with a festival of football. So we scouted players from different regions, okay, like from the Sun, besides and Mindanao. So there are six regions from Tarlac, Naga, San Carlos, yes. uh, Davao, Lanao. You're talking about the players that are representing the, yes. the team. So all okay. of the players is coming from the team. Tarlac, huh? yes, yes. Tarlac. So we have one players from Tarlac, one from Masbate. Nice. So uh, all of them. So we selected 30 players, and then when they were we were invited them for training camps in Los Banos. So until we end up of 18 players. 18 lang. Yes. So we prepare for no, one. Month. Eight. You just brought 18 yes. lang. Wow. Then we prepare for one month only. One month only. Yes. Okay. One month only. So for the people there who are thinking the ASCA should be together all the time, of course, understanding all coaches would want it that way, but not necessarily because in the World Cup, you see, even before the opening, there were still teams that weren't having friendlies. Yeah. And here, our, our girls' staff, coaching staff here and girls' 14, one month of training, and for sure, the teams that they played against Vietnam, Myanmar, Thailand, uh, what other countries did you guys play against? Uh, Cambodia, Singapore. 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 I'm sure these guys have, have uh, cause I know quite a few of the, uh, how do you say, organizations of that, those countries, and they, at least, at least two months of preparation. They bring in all the players from all over their country, and we had uh, a month preparation, that was like Coach Leto said, and, you know, <coughs> it's not easy to do. Hmm. It's not easy to do, then you reach the finals. Now, how long is the competition? Uh, it's ten days. Ten days. Ten days. It starts off with like a group phase, or uh, we and we just made elimination. Elimination. Yes. Two groups, right? Yes. Two, two groups. groups. Two groups. Plus elimination, you move into semi. 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 Crossover. Yes. Was it crossover? Yes. Crossover. Yes. crossover. And, and we, we, who did we beat in the semifinals? <coughs> Myanmar. 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 And in the finals, we were up against Thailand. Thailand. And Myanmar, most of the time, are little boys. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> and I know, I, I've seen some of the girls from the uh, girls for team. Most of your teams are real girls. Yeah. Little, little, little yeah. s some little boys, but <laughs> most of your team, majority are girls, right? I mean, real. You know what I'm saying, guys? Okay, okay, understood. Uh, <laughs> just answer your own question. Um, yeah, to tell us about the preparation of... of uh, of the group, um, is this like a, a super special batch of players that you guys were able to put together? Because it's like, parang cool yung preparation, yeah. just a month. Yeah, one month. So actually, seven from them are from last year roster, and then seven, seven, seven lang, okay. and then four of them yung nasa first team talaga. Ah, okay. And then so, 
Uh, actually, new team talaga siya. Pagdating namin sa tournament, so halos karamihan na nandun sa dun sa first 11 is bago. And then... Um, so, you told me the four, this must, they must have been 13-year-olds or 12-year-olds? They started three years ago. Three this years is ago. their third campaign. Third mass, okay. So, uh, you see, it was bad up. Uh, this, ca- this competition happens every year? Every yes, year. Every, every year. So, alternate, thir- U14, U13. But last year, U14, mm-hmm. but the same year. Ah, uh, the same U14 this year. For example, if you had 13 year olds now, U13 players, next year will be the U13s. Can they, are they eligible to play? Baka yung 13 ngayon coach, hindi na eh. Kasi... Ah, sorry, to, if they're 12 year olds now. Yeah, yes. okay. Kung 12 year olds lang ngayon, kasama sa under 14 nyo, this <laughs> campaign, they, they're still eligible to play for the 13th. Yes. yes. Ah, okay, okay. <coughs> okay. So then, how many from Metro Manila did you guys have? Uh, five. Five? That's a good number. Every, well, what are your majority? Uh, from, Cal- actually, Cal- balance kasi. Balance. So from San Carlos, we have five, uh, three players three from San years. Carlos, Fifteen four players, players from Cebu, Cebu, then two from Davao, Davao. then wow. along the po two. Um, one from Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. One from Hong Kong. Check it. Okay, so. Anyway, <laughs> this just proves to you now, guys, that not like before. I mean, there gets I suck and the test this, Joyce, when you coach that. Most of the girls, players, let's say even in the youth level, are really from Manila. A few came from the provinces. Just a few. Okay? But now, there is already a. The, prog- the progress, the development, you can see already now, very evident with the national team now, the 14th, because that coach like just said, we have quite a number of players who come from the different provinces. There's a system now. There's a, um, yeah, I mean, to spot talent in, in, in it, it, No, it just proves to you that girls' football in the Philippines is alive. Yes. And people, you know who you are, you need to work your ass off to get something really done. Okay? Uh, not like a 9 aside, but an 11 aside tournament. If you know what I mean, if you're listening, wow. I'll tell you straight. It's not even veiled at all. <laughs> no, no, no. And then you cannot join the 11 side if you don't join the 9 side. That's BS, man, I'm telling you. Anyway, I hope they're watching. <laughs> and, uh, but the thing is, I'm that, not saying anything. I'm just laughing. <laughs> don't no worry, you're not coaching any team. Don't so. jump me into this. No. What I'm trying to say here is what these three ladies here have done, plus their PT, uh, which is also was, uh, a lady. You know, like I said, first coaching staff complete all the way from head coach to the PT are all female, right. all women. So, I don't know if I can call Coach Isa a woman. Pa, a pa, ta, ano, what about years ago, no? <laughs> decades, decades ago, sorry. <laughs> ten years ago, exactly. Ten years ago. Wow, 28 ka na. Actually, Coach, kahit last year, puro women's coach kami. Ah, last year. Eh, sinagot po niyo kanina sa first time. So, last year pa rin, same staff. Uh, yung PT Plus lang yun na iba. Ah, yung PT, PT yung iba, pero mabayarin. Tsaka si Coach Buda kasama namin last year. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, because uh, <coughs> 10 years ago, <laughs> as I said, uh, it started there with the AFC from, from FIFA uh, working on uh, women foot, women girls football. Yeah. Uh, they really are moving on to, uh, to have all national sides Girls, regardless of age group or the national, the senior side, have all coaches, even the referees, have, the referees actually have started already for quite a number of years, wow. more than a decade. Now, all female, rightfully so, rightfully so. That means, you know, I mean, Iran is playing already, Afghanistan is playing already, so even in their veil and all this, but just to show you that FIFA is pushing also for uh, women's football. And the best way there is really in the youth. Uh, hopefully, barring any politics or whatever BS is there, that these girls that they had now will continue training, playing, uh, using football for their better education. You know. Some will end up in La Salle, wait. <laughs> some will end up in FU. No, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, but I'm saying it's good. We're going to be But you know I'm saying is, in all seriousness, uh, 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 women's football should have a, a bigger venue. I'm not talking about the stadium, guys. I'm talking about <coughs> a platform, a, a platform program. Play. Where in yearly, you know, we can stop when there's a UAP. That's only how many teams. That's only five teams. 
but there are clubs now. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're seeing the, the benefit of it with the, yes. the men's teams, the clubs yes. and all of this and the development from the yes. very grassroots all the way to the senior level. Even why if you is helping out. Yeah, I mean, why not for women? I mean, it definitely should be, the structure should be the same yes. for both genders. I'm interested in finding out, how did you guys do last year? We end up to fourth. fourth. And then we get the fair play award. Fourth, meaning you got to the semis. Fourth in your group? Uh, coach, uh, single round lang siya. So ah, last single round. Then seven, seven teams seven in the yeah. So, sino na dagdagan ngayon this year? Uh, Singapore. Singapore. So, uh, so palagay nyo, ano yung pinakamalaking improvement? What was the biggest reason kung bakit kayong nag-progress so far in this competition as compared to last year? Siguro sa, sa lineup namin, no? so yung adjustment kasi, so like yung sabi ko sa ibang <coughs> interview, so in strength namin yung gitna. Okay, and then from last year, so nakakuha na experience yung mga bata. So, and then binalance namin ngayon yung pwedeng mag-pair doon sa likuran and then sa middle. Kung sino yung mga players na may capability na makagawa ng ganitong yung system na in-apply ko sa kanila. So, at least yun yung nakatulong sa team. Eh. And then yung motivation sa players, kasi since na yung from yung game namin, we beat na, we beat, uh, first game. First game. Vietnam. 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 So, yun yung nagdala talaga sa team. Kasi it was on that time. No? Oh. <laughs> As was because of Vietnam and when, when, when football Thanks, guys. You know, went up. Uh, what was the scoreline for Vietnam? 1-0. One 1-0. Zero. One zero. And that gave you guys the confidence to, to go on. Yes. You know, Jing will ask you all the straight questions. I'm going to ask you a very interesting question which the viewers would love to find out. <laughs> <laughs> this game, yeah. No worry, nobody watched the show. Uh, about 24,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Singapore, China, whatever. Sponsors. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Were there a lot of girls or the players that had bad habits? Because I want to say also is kudos also to the coaches from their, where they were, from the provinces, from the schools here in Manila. Were there some bad habits? Because from experience, let you know this also, because when you get your players from FEU, as a rookie player, there are so many bad habits that, you know, <coughs> I get a little pissed off at the coaches mm. uh, from where they came from. Uh, was there a lot of it? Because we're talking about 13 year olds. Well, I'm 14 ton, no? Meron coach. 13 and 14, 14, 14 under. 14 under. 14 under. Okay. So, these are kids yet. And this, at this age, ang hirap dyan, it's gonna be so much trouble if, you, if you're you a coach and give them a bad habit on basics, technique, or skill. Was there any that you had to, that yung talagang nakagal, kinaman o? Yung ganun ba? Yung sa inyo na nag-ano kayo? Yung, so, why are you dip dip Actually, coach, hindi. Hindi ganun ka, ano. Bali, yung, yung prepar nice. during preparation namin sa camp, nun, sa, uh, may mga times lang kasi, actually, itong group na to, once na binigyan mo sila ng task, they do it. May ginagawa nila. Tama. So, may, yes. Ginagawa tama. Uh, may, Although problem is in technical, yes. so may problem sa technical, pero as much as possible, kapag nandiyan sila, ginagawa nila. Pero may mga times kasi madali kapag yung gantong age group, mm -hmm. yung attention span, di ba? Yes. So, dun kami minsan, so may time na na-stress out talaga yung, play, mm -hmm. yung coach eh. so Pero one time lang siya nangyari. Always lang, ha? Huh? Yeah. Sure, then you. Sabagay, you're getting nangyari. the best of the crowd. And then after that, oh. coach, as in, dara-diretso. Dara-diretso na. You needed a lot of psychology here. No, I mean... Meron kami niyan. <laughs> eh, psycho kasi ito dati. <laughs> Nakita ba bang nagano ito? Psycho yan, parang nag... Ang, 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 si Coach Isa ho, before, when, when I saw her, <laughs> ipinatanong ko sa kanya kay Isa kasi ang tatay ni Isa, sorry to say, basketball player. Sorry to say. No? Sorry to say. Parang masama eh. No? <laughs> ano yan, yung tatay ito, PBA player. Buti lang yung anak niya nag-football kaysa nag-basketball. O, oh, kita mo, may future ngayon. Hindi ko nag-basketball. Wala na, retire na yan. Anyway, shit, I lost my, uh, my thought of... Dahil mo sinabi. Ang ganun ako, kaya nga. Anyway, well, the thing that is, uh, when, when, when you come out to these kids, kasi very impressionable yan eh. Did you guys have to check yourself? Not like me, that I don't, I don't care. I just be me. Did you guys have to check yourself? Because bata, babae, more okay, patience, coach. Oh, yes. Kasi the time na, last from last year experience namin, what's mas possible di kami nagbibigay ng mga foul words mm -hmm. sa mga bata. Kasi una, yung character is during camp. Mm -hmm. eh, hindi lang kami nag-focus on training. So, dinedevelop din namin yung character ng mga bata. So, okay. Okay. Kaya, coach, sobrang talaga yung, yung feeling namin nung nagawa nila yan. Nasing sobrang proud kami kasi 
from the from the start pa lang ng preparation, wala kami naging problem sa mga bata. Did, maybe siguro, so, I don't know, ah, usually when it comes to those things, Isa, you know this, eh, meron dyan sa team, sa mga bata na leader. Because there's always a clown, there's always a geek, there's always a serious side of one person, there's someone who's a real leader. But if all of these guys gel together and work together, what's nice kasi with the girls, ah, girls, I'm talking, I'm being sexist here now, with girls, it's easier for them to gel. Less ego? What is that? Well, maybe, yeah, less <laughs> ego. Uh, hindi na, na, pag sa babae kasi, hindi na kahihaan eh. Pag sa lalaki, youth, galing sa south, galing sa north, galing, you know, when they get together, ang tagal yan bago magkano yan. But usually, there's one person, I mean, of course, discounting the coaches already, ha? Na may one or two in the team, that's the one that gets them together. This team, sino ang kumuha ng, 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 ng let's say, the spirit, the team spirit together? Was it the clown? Was it the nerd? Was it the leader leader talaga? Or was it everybody was just the same plato? I think it was, ano, uh, the clown slash leader. Because um, we saw the potential in her yung Captain Ball naman this year, from last year pa. Mm -hmm. So this year, um, within a year, grabbing maturity nila, like, cause mm -hmm. we've handled under thirteen girls. Every time they go under fourteen, an lahi ng improvement din. So maturity nila, the way they carry themselves, and then kahit yon yung leadership. So kahit yung yung captain ba namin ngayon si ano, Tenelin Autumn from San Carlos. Clown talaga siya. Pero siya yung talagang nag makikita mo siya pag kumakain or lalo na yung first week pag may bagong player or or something, siya yung una talagang lalapit. Before, sinasabi pa namin sa kanila, huwag kayong mahiya. Pero this year talaga, sobrang automatic na na siya yung lalapit sa kanila. Pag may iyak, hindi na namin kami yung magka-comfort yeah. mismo eh. Siya na. Tsaka yung oh, organize tayo, mag-start na tayo ng warm-up. Isang sabi mo lang sa kanya, organize mo, organize sila. Mm -hmm. Kahit na yung everyday may captain ball kami yung bago. So okay. kung sino yung, um, I think yun yung isa namin magandang practice sa kanila na, Kung sino yung ma-assign namin captain ball for the day, kaya niyang maging captain ball for the whole day from like equipment until like warm-up, cool-down. Yeah, yeah, so we're going to say siya. Yeah. Yung, yung ano, ang maganda dito kasi yung pag-jing, pag young girls like this. Uh, Coach Lev can attest to this. Iba yung pagbata. Kasi I have experience in college, there's a bitch, there's another bitch, and then another, another bitch that destroys the routine. <laughs> may mga senorita, may donya, may taman, may who doesn't fucking care. Like pag sa bata kasi, pag sinabi, you know, it's playtime sa kanina eh. Playtime yan eh. They're doing what they're doing. Yeah. You know, they love what they're doing. They just want like to play football. And they're young, old girls, young girls, same wavelength. Ang lalaki, iba na. Pero yung babae, sana these girls that we have, the, uh, what they, the team that they have, they matured the same way that they are now. Walang lalaki ulo, walang maging senyorita, walang maging donya. Kasi ako, asal na asal kasi hindi nakikita ko yun. Pagdating sa college, actually, pagdating sa fourth year high school pa lang, may kita mo na yung transformation eh. Nagdadalaga na, ang hirap dun pag may naka-boyfriend na, iba na ang... Don't, don't think I, I'm bawal sa akin yung like, other coaches na bawal magka-boyfriend pag rookie. You know, in college, I don't give a shit if you have a boyfriend. But if I see that it affects your play or your academics, then I tell the player, you choose. I don't know if that's the same. But they say, you choose. Pag maandi training, you choose. Boyfriend, football, academics. You can only choose two of the three. Of course, we know what the two of the three is, but academics and football. Pag nasira niyong boyfriend, that's a boyfriend, are you fucking quit? Because you're going to bring the whole thing down. Okay? But at, the, at this level, hindi pa yan issue. They need to say it because they, right? I think with this batch, we're just lucky to have them because they have really good attitude. Right. Like, and then for the first time, I think, walang nag-away, lahat sila may initiative, they're very independent. I don't know, but it was just like... Saka yung bonding talaga nila from the start pa lang. Sabihin mo silang walang room hopping, pero makikita mo pa rin. Ganun ko sila ka-close. Yeah. Kahit from Manila to province, mm -hmm. as in, kahit yung first year pa lang nila, yung first year lang nila ngayon, first time lang nila meet nila ngayon, mm -hmm. so ganun na sila ka-close. Dati ah. kasi may groups, like if you're from the, somewhere right. down south, or right. if you're from Manila, pero this year, since like, I think balance kasi, walang, walang majority na group, 
mas mas nag-gel so so magaling din so it just so lang yeah. 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 besides what's her name your Catherine Malotong mm-hmm. so you know for a coach to get that lucky you don't have to work too much on the psychological effect kasi usually pag dating sa national sides eh, yan ang magiging problema just remember <laughs> national sides you have the cream of the crop and now not like before you only get the girls that are in, in from Manila you know or girls whose parents can help the team wink wink again na uh, ngayon <coughs> yung mga players you claim deserving right i'm sorry kung matamaan kayo mga ibang dyan matatamaan kayo talaga I think, all, kayo. I think also was was that always part of the mindset in recruiting the players as well is how you deal well with others in terms of your attitude or technical ability lang talaga yung tingin niyo. At niyo. first, at first yung technical and skills yung pinitignan namin. Pero on the time kasi we were selecting 30 players. Eh. So right. on the oh. time na nasa camp, kat pati yung attitude ng players is kasama. <coughs> Because hindi niyo nilin realize ko like the the success that we've been achieving. Uh, sabi mo nga the, the Street Child World Cup, the Challenge Cup and this uh, campaign that you guys just embarked on, the team seemed to be very tight. Yeah. Not necessarily all the best players all the time, but remember what Jake, remember what Thomas <coughs> Dooley yeah. told us the second coming. When it's a good thing, I wanted to ask him. There was a question uh, through Facebook. I think uh-huh. he said, if you don't want to play for the team and you want to play for yourself, then you never make the team. Nice. Right. That's, right. that's that's what I'm saying. If you're in the national side, I think now we have coaches who understand better the system of camaraderie, the, the all you know this all this talk about gelling, gelling. Uh, you know, I'm sure all the three coaches will agree with me. You have player A who's really, really, really good, but is a bitch. You got player B who's so so but grabbing attitude. Who would you choose? I don't care. Me, I would choose player B. Because that player A can bring the whole team down. Yeah. See? Yeah. So they're very fortunate to have a team Any coach would want to have that, whether it's for a club team, school team, especially national team, <laughs> where the players just automatically gel. You feel good about yourself. It's angaan kasi, magaan. It's so hard to train. Never mind the games. Never mind the games. Because who wants to go to a game to lose anyway, right? Mm. During training, it's different when you're training. You're having fun as a coach. Angaan ng feeling. Ang dami mong pwedeng paggawa, ang dami mong pwedeng paturo na yung players mo, even at this age, young, na they reciprocate properly. No complaints, no, no, no complaints, whatever. Wala. Uh-huh. Even during conditioning, wala. Okay? Wala. Di ba? Uh-huh. Yan ang perfect, I'd say, uh, perfect combination. <laughs> <laughs> perfect environment. Perfect. Everything is perfect. It just opens, of course, you cannot be a champion outright. You need to play against other teams. And we all know that Thailand is still way above us. But the showings of all our teams now, all our national sides, including our girls for team, Ascals, Street Soccer, and all that, we're catching up with Thailand. Because yeah. we've caught up with Indonesia. We've caught up with Singapore. Okay? Vietnam. And, and, and I've said it years ago, girls football, Philippine girls football, can, how do you say, uh, achieve quicker uh, achieve international how would you say supremacy or what have you quicker than the men why is that i would think because they want to learn the girls want it's a men it, it, i'm going to be sexist again the girls have a better attitude and outlook on things you will see a lot more girls doing better in academics right The boys. I don't know about you, man. I was <laughs> kicking ass and and I was kicking ass also. But I was kicking ass, literally. <laughs> But no, no. I've been here what, 30 plus years. Look, I've been handling boys, men, women, girls, and I see it because I like to hear young girls, you know, 12, 13 year old saying, "Coach, when can we train with you? Coach, can you train us? Coach, we want to train." In the young. Eh, in what? Yung college. Ayun naman. So ito may college players, no? Tinatamad kayo, you get bored, you're bored. You're bored, go home. Don't come in the morning, don't wake up in the morning, get lost. Right. The doors wide open, quit. I only want players who want to play. The reason why you're playing is because you love the sport. Eh, there is no, I don't think there's a successful athlete or coach for that matter who is doing their stuff that were forced into it. 
It's gotta be like uh, you're covering football. Yeah. Because you love to cover football. Also because I gotta pay the bills. But and you gotta pay the bills. Nah, yeah, I'm kidding. You're I not married yet. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like all all of us here, we can. Uh, never mind about my story, but I'm saying where I what I went through, but but football helped me do what I love to do. And I will not have anything else. And you reckon women have a better mindset? They have a better mindset. It's easier to teach. I want to know when after suffering that defeat, obviously you guys are on a high all the way to the finals and then you guys suffer a difficult defeat. What was the mentality like in the camp or with the girls? How did it affect them um, as they flew back here to the Philippines? How were the spirits? Yeah. Well, of course, right after the game, they cried. Uh -huh. Because, uh -huh. yeah. and, um, bec well, because at first we taught them how to play with heart. And then when they started playing with heart, that's when they realized like after they've given up everything and then they lost, it's like so part it's of them been, died, right. you know, something like that. And it, all of them agreed that it was, it was like um, th their first time to feel that way because it was their first time to play for the national team, to play for a country and flag. So it was, it was a different feeling for them because, yeah, it's, it's different playing in this level. And what did you guys tell them? What was the what was the message to the kids? Actually, sinabi lang sa kanila yung narating yung ngayon is the biggest achievement na. Okay, so sila lang kasi from the start pa lang after ng Vietnam game namin. So ina internet namin sa kanila na nakagawa na kayo ng history. Okay, so ang kailangan lang natin kumakuha natin to, punta tayo ng finals. So kasi yung objective namin from the start pa lang ng camp eh, kay makapasok ng semis. And then since wala nakuha namin semis go all the way to the yeah, finals. Uh -huh. So ayun eh, so ayun yung nag, ano sa kanila na once nag na nala na, na, natalo nila yung Vietnam, natalo nila, may, nila Myanmar. yung Myanmar. Nag-set ng confidence yun sa mga bata eh. So after nung game, so umiyak sila kasi alam nila na kaya rin nila. Ay, ah, alam nila na kaya rin nila yung Thailand kasi may mga chances kami na dapat na How was the game? Game? How was the game guys? 50-50 to uh, Actually coach yeah, mar ano siya uh, uh, yung balance ng attack and defense sa lagay. Uh, yes. yeah, Although ang taas, so, ang taas na ang taas ng tactical and technical ng uh, Thailand, uh, ang bibilis ng Thailand pero nakaya nila eh. yung mga given task sa kanila may mga uh, task player kasi ako uh, na you know, uh, uh, lahat na execute nila na they were able to do lahat ng mga sinabi sa kanila even yung play namin, uh, lahat executed uh, talaga. Execute. Asing yeah. sobrang ganda ng performance kaya ng yung last na sinabi ni coach Aisa na Ano pang iko correct natin sa kanila yeah. ang ganda ng game nila. Because yeah. we were we were expecting okay na sa finals na tayo. We were expecting yung attitude nila na okay <coughs> na tong may medal na tayo mauwi. Masaya na tong lahat. Pero, Pero we, we, we didn't push we them. Oh, and then we push sila lang push pa na gusto talaga. Na nila yun. Kasi nung when we were players Ang iniisip lang namin laging defending, defending, yeah, defending. Yeah, yeah, Walang yeah, yeah. attacking. So, sila hindi nga nila iniisip yun. Iniisip nila magcha-champion kami. And then they believed and then yun, nakaya I think yun, nakarating kami. For people don't know, uh, okay, yung championship nyo, who scored first? Ah, uh, Vietnam, uh, Thailand. 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 First half was score two, was two. Okay, 2-0. <coughs> and then second half, you tried catching up, you scored one. What what minute do you guys take up na? Did is uh, 14 90 minutes? Uh, 70. 70. 35. 35. 35. 35. Okay. 35. Okay. 11 on 11. Yeah. Yes. Uh, remember we explained to them during our first season regarding football 101. Yeah. Different age groups, of course, you cannot expect uh, the same, uh, same you know, rules. When you play under the sun and all that. Rules, no, same as rules. Same rules, football is, is, is uh, universal rules. Oh, yeah, regulation. The regulation time. time yeah. Because you cannot expect these young kids to be playing 90 minutes under the sun and all that. I mean, it's unheard of, you know. So they played 70 minutes because these are 14 year olds. When they go to the 17, 18s, this will be already 45. So for the folks who don't uh, know, because we didn't have our third segment this season. Oh, we have the rundown now instead rundown. of uh, football 101. Yeah, but same, you know, so that we want to tell the others. So parents, especially parents of girls who want to play football, don't be afraid to let your girls come out and play. If they love the sport, whatever sport it may be, don't stop them. Uh, let them enjoy themselves naman. Kasi in the long run, pag tinigil nyo yan, magre-rebel din yung mga anak nyo. And football, you know football, you get a lot more friends. Why? First of all, it's 11 aside. You play 11 aside. In one <coughs> team, you have 20. That's already 19 new friends. Then before that, even into 20, you'll have double of that go to tryouts. So don't be trying out. So you get more friends. Don't you want your kids to have more friends? You know, I mean, 
So then they, they get to enjoy more when it's just like going to school. If you have a good bunch of classmates, especially a good bunch of teachers, mm. who are not boring, you know, you'd love to go back to school. Same with sports. In football, people love to wake up. I'm so freaking old already. I want to wake up every morning and see my, my players. Although some of them really pissing me off, but you know, I still want to wake up every morning. I've been doing this for what, 34 years. It's, it's within it. And at this age, yes, that's why I said earlier, Sana, all these girls, the 18 that they had, will continue and use that, use that as a stepping stone to get into another level, not just on football, yeah. but for their personal life. I think that's why this, is, this, this campaign in particular is really special for Philippine football because we haven't had a chance to see and observe a team grow from a very young age. Means that we like in Germany and Belgium, like, they're already in magazines, like you know, the, the players that they expect to uh, stand out. Silly then you must stand out in the World Cup, I don't know, like 10 years from now. So these players, now we get a chance to see after the success, how they play in the 15s, how they play in the 16s, and so on and so forth. So we have a team and see how we develop throughout the ranks. So it's going to be exciting. Yeah. I mean, obviously because at the under 14 level, we are going to develop in that sense. So yeah, I mean, it's now the challenge is set for all the other age groups. The men's, the, the boys as well. Gayon, parang kailangan nila mo step up. But so. before those, before the challenge, Jing, I would, me, I would challenge all the coaches back home. I mean, all the all the schools, club coaches, oh. youth. We're talking about the girls, okay? Uh, I challenge you, because like the the eighteen girls that have come from 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 this coaching staff that we have now. In in the span of two months, have you been together at least? Wala pa. One and a half. One and a half. Months. Yeah. In one and a half months, all these 18 young girls have learned more than double than what they have learned uh, uh, when they were in their mother teams, if you may say so. Uh, I'm not trying to put down the culture, but what I'm saying is they have learned more. So when these guys go back, when these young girls go back to you, you know, let them help you train your other girls. They have to be the leaders now because they have the experience playing international. It's a big deal, I'm telling you. In 10 days of competition, you learn 12 months of whatever you're going to learn. You know, uh, you as the coach now, how are you going to do, how are you going to deal with it? How are you going to help develop your teams and the young girls? Never mind the team, just the, the players themselves, you know, individually. Because when these girls, when your girls come back to you, before they come to you, before you even see them, marami ng kwento yan sa mga teammates nila. At sa mga bagulang mga teammates nila. So, ano yan eh, it's a domino effect. Don't, what I'm saying is, yung challenge ko there is, don't stop the domino effect. Tuloy-tuloy nyo lang. You know, if you don't know what you're, what you're gonna do, ask around. Di ba? All the coaches, including myself, Jing, we have Facebook pages, we have Twitter, you can always oh, ask. Don't ask me anything. You know? Don't ask Jing. <laughs> you want business? Ask Jing. Let's pass it over to Coach yeah. Hans and you know? answer that question. And, but you know, the thing is that uh, it's, a, it's a very good, like I said, we're picking up already, we're, we're reaching. I think, I think for in any level of Philippine football, if we are able to, to beat Thailand, I think we've made it in the ASEAN region. Yeah, definitely. Uh, because we've done it already with Vietnam, uh, Singapore, Malaysia. <laughs> it's just Thailand. Thailand is a standing block. Na lang eh. Dito sa atin, ah, sa ASEAN. Uh, I think that's the gauge that we need to... to okay, Challenge Cup, we play against uh, Turkmenistan and all these stand stand teams. Anyway, what I'm saying is, in the Sea Games, uh, sea games <laughs> the Southeast Asian region, I think our target should be Thailand. And we're going to get a chance to play them in November. So yeah, yeah. Suzuki Cup's around the corner as well. It's going to be a crazy year. You know, just for the others, I'm sorry again, Jim, to cut you off again. Yeah. Uh, the thing here is, people should know, these are the countries that they played against. Uh, the, the, the system <coughs> in youth sports in these countries is far more developed than what we have here. The support that they have, this Three ladies here, plus their PT, didn't have any manager. No manager. 
Okay, it's just a backing of the PFF. Okay, no manager, but they did a great job doing what they did. Uh, you know, the thing is that is, if, if we continue helping each other out and making the kids believe that the Philippine football scene can even be better than who we are already in. Because like I have kept on saying every, every episode, every show that we have, it can only get better. Oh yeah. It can yeah. only get better. I mean, that's why the coaches, you know, I don't care if you're licensed or no license. Pero sa mga ibang licensed coaches, ito ang sasabihin ko sa inyo, pag napanood nyo to, please lang, turuan nyo yung tama bago yung yabang nyo. Okay? <laughs> De, kasi I'm, I have players who come from different teams, licensed, may coaching staff na nga, high school pa lang, may coaching staff na and all that. Ang yayabang nyo magsalita, eh pagdating ng mga players nyo dito sa Manila, ang dami pa lang kulang. Si Coach Lett, mabait yan, hindi magsasalita yan. Pero agree yan sa akin. Sigurado, mag-agree ka. Actually, Coach, kasi nakausap ko rin yung mga players na uh, this is the same. Kung ano yung experience training sa national team ba, same lang din ang ginagawa niya sa mm. school niya, sabi niya. No, 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 no. Definitely. Definitely. So, uh, uh, this group right here, are you guys gonna stay together as a coaching staff at this level? Uh, ano mong plano niyo? Teka, yeah. Question. Kasi every time I handle the national science, pag pinipilit ako ng PFF na itong coaching staff, I say no. Ako, gusto ko, I work with my staff. Did you have, will you give us free hand to choose Actually, coach, we are under a pop program. Okay, so, yeah. kami na talaga yung magkakasama from... Can you explain first to them what that is? What uh, that program is? Yeah. Hindi na, ang daming hindi alam eh. Like a pop program well. is from a project ng AFC. So, those who are coaching national team or youth, any any national team... Licensed. Uh -huh. With national team mm -hmm. playing okay. experience. So, these are only for. We are under contract. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is for. What is the abbreviation of it? A. A. P. A. F. A. P. Okay. What does it stand for? Ah. 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 A. F. C. Financial Assistance Program. This one. Here. This one. Okay. This guys, this is called by A. F. C. Right? It's not the Federation of Teaching. No. The money. These coaches here. These three ladies that we have and other coaches, like Anto Gonzalez, who was our guest before, who still think he's also under them. No? Yes. These are all licensed. These are for former national team players <coughs> who are continuing their career in football, but as coaches. They're getting monthly salaries, but the salaries are coming from the AFC. It's a little bit of a dollar. It's a little bit of a dollar. It's a little bit of a dollar. It's a little bit of Yung sinasabi ko. Oh, well, alam ko na malaki eh. <laughs> <laughs> Pero tuloy-tuloy yung sweldo nyo ha. Kasi dati narinig ko. Marami mga coaches na di-delay. Anyway, yeah, because they don't give their fucking reports. Oh. That's why they don't get paid. Some coaches are also assholes that they think that they just can get their monthly without their giving their portion. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, this is, this is a program for former national players who, like I said earlier, who are continuing the career in football as coaches. <laughs> Uh, is everybody getting the same salary from that or, no, or different class? Uh, actually, same, same, same for same. all coaches. For all? Yeah. So, 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 pare -pare yeah. Okay. And then. Regardless of which age group you handle, okay. even if you're in the senior team. But this is only for the former <laughs> players or coaches now that are coaching national sites. Or. Yeah. Ano lang? Just um, a licensed coach. Mm -hmm. Not necessary na former national. Team or players. Ah, no, for national team players. Uh, All licensed. Licensed coach. Basta licensed coaches. Because okay. AFC, ano siya coach? Mm. And they provide you with like programs to follow? Or you make um, your own? Um, basically, it's just a <coughs> national assistant? Uh, we Fin just need to pass a report. Oh, uh, I mean, what program? Like, program like, yeah. Training yeah. Sila, yeah. or development Activities. Program. Activities. Yeah. Activities yeah. Yeah. But since last year, um, <coughs> all of us have been working together. Like, um, with with the technical department, with our head, Coach Iris Kaslib, and he's been mentoring us, especially um, with, the, with the new we're coaches, like us who are handling the youth team. So um, we've been like sharing ideas, and then if we have problems, we can at least go to him for advice. So. Okay. No, that's the way it should be. Yeah. I mean, just because you're a licensed coach, I'm saying licensed coach because I know for a fact there are quite a number who have licenses who don't deserve to have the license. I'm sorry, AFC, 
but I'm saying it as it is. Okay? Uh, fucking forget the politics. You're not helping. We, we, in politics, we're not helping uh, development programming. You know, give it to the other people who really deserve, like these three ladies here, because I've seen it happen. Uh, but I mean, I'm so negative all the time. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm asking that question in my head right now. Like. I think it's because we're all in black. <laughs> you must have black morning. <laughs> my, my question to the ladies were, were you guys staying together? You, I mean, obviously you're under the same program, but as a as a unit, will you guys remain at the under 14 level? <laughs> oh, it's like yeah. Abdul Aris Kaslin, the technical director. So I can't coach. Oh, you yeah. can't coach. Actually, the coach Aris for him did the same. Some did the same. Pero okay, let. Do, do we have, sorry. Ikaw ba nasa <coughs> appointment mo is really for the under 14s? Under under for yung contract ko is under 14 pero they said uh he assigned din sa akin yung 16. Oh, so you can have two teams. Yun ang mm. yun ang <coughs> for me ha, not 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 I'm trying to say uh, diminish your your capability as a coach because I've seen your work and I know you, you deserve like I told Anto, remember? Yeah. If we were going to reward the coaches <laughs> and it's successful, leave them there. Don't give them a headache. Give them another age group. Because the program is just like teaching. Eh? You have a curriculum. You have a... No, we can't teach. I don't know. I'm going to teach. I'm going to teach. Syllabus. 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 May hirap yung gagawa ka ng syllabus tapos for a certain age group. Then you have to do another for another age group. If you're successful here, don't reward the coach by giving the coach another team, age, another age group, whether it's younger or older. Reward them with a bigger salary. At the Plain and simple. At the age group of At the age group of the <laughs> yes. Salary. Make them happy. Okay? Rewarding to, to give them up. I don't agree. Because like I said, remember before with Anto. Anto is with under 15, 16. 16. Keep him there. Because once you develop the, the expertise of handling that kind of age group, then you have the expertise to do that for... Because the players, yeah. the future players for that age group, who are, is looking forward to that coach. Because, of course, they're going to be Coach Let. It's the beautiful training of Coach Let. We're just going to be able to do that. Then, when you're at that age, now, when you're 13 years old, you're going to be 14 under or 14 under. Then, you're going to be Coach Let. Coach Let, you're going to be able to For me, for me, Sorry, that's my personal thing. That's not the uh, reward. Right. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, I, I've heard his side on it. Actually, it's the same. Yung sinabi ni Coach Ari, so uh, for our next year again, ako pa rin sa U14 kasi para at least yung program, uh -oh. pare-pareho lang. So at least yung adjustment din ng mga bata para pag step up nila sa U16, nasa isang program lang sila. So ano na yung challenge yung next season? Obviously, next year, championship na ang inaanap nyo. Is that is that the expectation that you guys are putting on yourself? How many? Then? Let's make, give her an easier answer. Uh -huh. How many do you think from your 18 now <coughs> still eligible next year? Uh -huh. oh, no, what next is 13? Eh? Next year is 13. Uh, next year is so, 3 or 4. Uh, yeah, four just do your form. Because expectations. Because so most of them are 14 already. Right. Yeah, they, that's the <coughs> AFC FIFA and the program. What? That's why they make it 13 this year, 14 this year, 13. Yeah. Para ma develop more players. Right. Para hindi walang repetition. Mm -hmm. Of course, you cannot discount the fact that there will be a repetition. <coughs> oh, what you say, repetitions? No, not repetitions. Some kids come back in yeah. players yeah. because they're aged, they're younger. There will always be. There will always be. Even one, but there will always be. But their program is to develop that. Eh. Para mas maganda kasi pagdating nila sa Ascals, you know, senior side na. Ano ang tawag doon? Uh, ano na sila? Uh, mas hasana na sila. Sanay na sila. Uh, they're there now, you know, I mean, ready now. Right. And that's world football now. You know, you're in that stage already. Yung, yung, yung country mo is going to move up also with you. Imagine a team, nothing more money, Pakeo lang, who can bring up the team. <laughs> or, or, you know, just the boxers. Right. That's me. And you, you said it before we started the show. Uh, street soccer, World Cup, whatever. Yeah, street soccer, World Cup. Challenge Cup, Suzuki Challenge. Cup, now the, the right. Challenge for team. And I think this is the most successful youth team that I can remember since I was here in the Philippines. I think, and this is girls. Yeah. I don't know about the other age groups, but I feel really good. Not because I had a player there, I don't have a player. 
future players. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, I've seen them grow. Right. Makes me fucking old. <laughs> but happy, that's good. Take a look. You want to be a player, you can do it. Don't say yes to Porta. So, <laughs> back to my question. Championship next year? Is that is that the goal or is it still just enter the um, semifinals? Um, well, I think because our next step will be the under 16. So, the under 14, we're still savoring. Right. You know, <laughs> actually, it still haven't sunk in yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, we just want to enjoy this right just now. Sure. because. When um, did you come back? Just Para last Monday. 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 Oh, so, Monday. Yeah. Oh, three days. Pa <laughs> right, right, right. So, wala pa naman. Wala pa. And wala pa. we. What about the beginning of the day? What of course, every year we try to beat our record from the previous year. Mm -hmm. I've been with the under 14, 13 since 2011, so 12, 13, 14. This is my third year with it with this age group, and every year um, our girls are they just keep on improving. And yeah, so f this year has been the best. Um, we've given uh, this has been the best um, performance right. so far. Come and on. I asked this earlier on. <laughs> I mean, now that I know that you've been coaching at that level for, I don't know, two or three years already. Uh, what has been the biggest improvement in, what is it, the technique of the girls? Is it... Uh, Overall general mm -hmm. attitude? Yeah, uh, the, what? Sport, or the sport, or... What? Uh, like, I don't know, like... Finances from PFF? Or is it uh, what is it? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, uh, it's, it, uh, it will, I think, always be about the girls and how they have improved technically, tactically, and, then, and their attitude. <laughs> because um, once they step in the national team, well, it's it's with given the time frame that we have to train them, um, it's mostly you can't do much. So it's mostly polishing, but it's up to them to absorb it and deliver. So if we we're lucky like this year to have like what I said, good players in attitude attitude wise. So um, that's that's I think the one thing that brought so, them. So there. really, attitude. Do you think the success of Philippine football in general because it's becoming so much more famous, more attention? <coughs> People understand what it takes to play at that level where the Ascals are playing at. Do you think that contributes to the improvement of the attitude? Yeah, definitely. Like yeah. with our, with our, um, with what happened to us when people started to tweet and share stuff about us, yeah. and then our girls read about it on on their um like social um, networks. Yeah. They they got more inspired actually to play in the semis and the finals. And then one more thing, then coach, yung absorbent na ng ano ng information. So once you give them the correction, sir, ng ng tas, nagagawa na na sa ex na siya talaga nila. So ang bilis as yung maturity nila sa game, kasi may mga central players kami na matas yung knowledge talaga. That's yeah, that's what we tell our players. That's one edge that they have because they have this. They're very smart because um, compared to other teams, maybe they just train and how many hours do they study in a day? They, they train more than they study. So us, naman, even if we study more, at least ito meron. Then ito na lang, susunod. Then that's a perfect combination. Do you guys think, I, mean, I, I, I don't think I told them or I told some other people when they asked me, but Coach, what did you think about the girls on the 14? I was thinking out loud, now I ask you, do you think you would have the same results if the tournament, if this tournament was done during the school year? Because our main problem here in Philippine football <coughs> is school base. Right. Yes. right? With the help of the UFL now, we have more football academies mm -hmm. for the clubs. But, uh, you know, when school starts, like I told you, the under 19 boys, Tinasca, the first keeper is my keeper from Cebu, the Guzman. He played when they were they won in Australia. Okay? But they sell clubs. But when they went to the main tournament in Indonesia, they got clobbered because some of the players didn't go anymore because they opted to stay because of their schooling, especially right. those who were already <laughs> uh, freshmen, college. So, sa inyo, sakto lang. Yeah. Right. Summer. 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 Yeah. Summer. Then one good thing then, then coach, because all the na late na yung late na yung FOF, di ba? So, galin sila sa tournament, and then may palarong pambansa. Oh, yeah. So. Ano siya? Kasi yung last year namin, galing sa rest. Kaya, oh. nung win-workout pa namin, pati yung stamina ng bata last yeah, year. Yeah, fitness nila. Fitness. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Hindi kayo nahirapan masyado. Yeah. Kasi, Ay, walang time. active. That's why, my question is, for example, do uh, you think it's gonna be the same way, same results, same attitude mm -hmm. of the girls, if, let's say, tomorrow in October, or September, mm -hmm. November? Mahirapan siya, Coach, no? kasi una yung schools talaga. Yes. Affected. You see, that's the main problem. Where I've told them, 
actually repeatedly, that they have to discuss now with, with Brother Amin, his brother Amin is a sports enthusiast too, you know. Uh, you know, how find ways on how to help in the development of youth sports, especially when you're representing the country. Because yeah. there are many teachers dyan, at professors dyan, meron isa taglasal mandara sa akin. Tawa na naman eh. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Kasabihin ba naman dito, akala nyo ba ganyan, pinapahirapan yung athlete eh. Right, right. Or hindi ka basko pero, tanga mo pala eh. Uh, see, that's the problem. Sometimes people look at uh, like athletics as if it's um, uh, a second option to your academics, obviously. Yeah. Uh, or play second tier to your academics. Academics obviously very important. Of course. But there's so many things to learn from sports as well. Uh, camaraderie, fab, Life uh, skills, social life skills, skills, performing above yes. what you, what people expect of you. You know. You know. You think <laughs> the players now in the World Cup? You think there's a single player there? Maybe there is. Maybe I don't know. But of all the freaking players that are playing the World Cup now, you think these players never went through education? No, they did. Why are they this good? Because where they come from or where they came from, there was support. That's the main problem here in the Philippines, unless you're basketball. Sorry, huh? but it's true. Uh, why is it a different thing when school starts than in summer, when there's summer break? I don't see any difference. There should be no difference. Why? Because you're representing flag and country. So, and that I don't understand. I really don't understand. It's creating the right environment. Uh, Beijing Senator Pia, <laughs> you're the best under there. I mean, she's doing well right. with the UAP rule and all this. I think Pia, yeah, you, should, you, should, you should take care more of the sports, you know. Okay, then, yung action star nyo dun sa ano. Anyway, <laughs> then, isa, then, isa. We're gonna wrap this up. Now, one thing I, I do have to say is, um, uh, first of all, congratulations. Great yes. campaign. Um, and I think you guys might not know it, but you guys have started something that will benefit Philippine football for the next five to ten years. Your success in this competition now gives all other coaches a reason to believe in themselves, to understand that even at one month preparation time, you're not going to look back at the federation and, and make excuses because yes. you guys were able to perform yes. at that level. So now every other age level, we're now expected to perform. Exactly. We're no longer the country that is yung parating kawawa sa football because we have these guys as benchmarks to look at and see. That actually, this is what we're capable of. Actually, what, what, what these guys just did is like, uh, ask us here, and they're here. They're the bookbinders. Which yeah. one? Guess what? And it's. it's uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> benchmarks. No, yeah, you know when you put the books. Uh, yeah. In between there, you're on challenge mode. Yes. In between 15, 16, 17, 18, yeah. 19, 20, 21, up to 23. And developing even the players who are under nines, tens, elevens to get them to this level. So you know the the stage is set for Philippine football to to continue to grow, to nurture itself, and we have the right people to do it. You know we have uh, here on them here on the show today. You can discount no, oh, just me, all right? You can use Coach Hans, <laughs> figurehead of Philippine football. I'm just the the chatty one. Just ahead, no more. And we have very talented coaches like uh, Coach Isaac, Coach Joyce, and Coach Led. Wait, um, one, one one last question, because. Isa here is handling a different position. Goalkeeper. How many keepers did you guys get in the among the 30 for <coughs> you to train? Four, Four only. Did you have to bring three? Yeah. Then just two. Uh, yeah. But we are three. You had to bring three. <coughs> right. You registered three, but you guys brought three. Okay, coach. Kaya three, because I have some defenders that can be able to keep it. Okay, so kaya lahat ng players ko utility lahat, so you can play in any positions. Okay. They had a good height as for their age, you think? Or no? But last yeah. year, the, our last year's uh, goalkeeper was uh, um, quite tall. Like, yeah. five, 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 six, five, yeah. seven. Almost now, the same height. No, but for you guys to to lose by one, two goals, scored against you. We did not concede any goal in the elimination <laughs> yeah, yeah. until the semis, and then she had pretty good saves in the finals. Mm -hmm. And she's from <coughs> Longapo. Long Longapo. Long yeah. Actually, coach. Uh, this is the first time na meron from the sun place. Yes. Na yeah. Yeah. So it's having more tagla, longa po. Just to show you oh. that football is really growing <laughs> the right up. way. Opening up everywhere. Kasi dati yung North, pag sinabi mo North football, Metro Manila lang eh. Oh. 
Ngayon, there's Longa po, there's Patangas, <coughs> there's Cavite now and all this. And these are through the efforts of the individuals uh, who are never real coaches but just love the, food, the sport, they love kids. Doon nag-umpisa yan eh. Diyan nag-umpisa yan. So hopefully, sana the PFF will give more opportunities and openings for more coaches yeah. regardless of the age. Wag lang man yung age na 60 plus na yung mag-coaching. Uh, Wag na. Yung mga age ko, kanya, pwede pa yung mga 35. Yung mga, pwede pa. Shut up. <laughs> oh, see, I mean, what we have here, super young coaches, right? I mean, Very young, yes. Um, yeah, I mean, what, what, what inspires people to watch sports, right? I mean, people pushing above their weight, um, achieving things that other people didn't expect them to achieve. Yes. And I think Philippine football on its own this year alone yeah. has made so many of those stories possible. I mean, we have the Smart Gilas Filipinas team. Yes. That's basketball, and they've done a great job. But we were talking about the ASCAS, the Street Child World Cup team, under-14 team. So much inspiration to be taken from Philippine football you know, alone. At the end it's of not, the year, there's an the award thing. for a certain sport. Man, we've been kicking football ass. Football should be awarded at the end of this year. <laughs> I don't think that's a, it's a, it's a know, issue I mean, at all. It should be, if there's a, a sport to be awarded or to be acknowledged, <laughs> boxing has always been there. Yeah. Until, of course, but, I mean, how many, retire, but yeah. it will always be there. How many other sports can uh, claim to, to be successful this or one, developing yes. you know, children at under 14 levels? Yes. Right? I mean, yeah. that's, that's ridiculous. Yeah. So like, like I said, congrat congratulations and Thank thanks you. for dropping by on the show. It's been a short pleasure. notice. Uh, yeah, one day notice. So short notice, guys. Uh, a short notice. That's uh, Coach Hans Power right <laughs> there. <laughs> uh, once again, check out uh, zillion.ph, guys. Uh, support the show. Support uh, the, the program that supports Philippine football uh, by purchasing something. Like that awesome <laughs> small goal that I got at home. <laughs> may or may not have at home. <laughs> <laughs> zillion.ph, get a 10% discount from uh, if you use the promo code, which is HO10OFF, all right? Everything is already discounted at zillion.ph, but if you get the, uh, the promo code HO10OFF, spell out 10OFF, you will get extra 10%, and you will be supporting the program. Uh, Coach Hans has been drinking from that coffee mug, which can uh, hold not just coffee, <laughs> Cold water, juice, whatever you want, but it's cool as hell. It's got the hands-on logo on it. Check out nmftv.com slash merchandise. Do that and do it well. Shout out to Javianis and, of course, our proud sponsor, Sarah SSL Football Club. Moving up to the first division, just got Gre Jeffrey Christians. Yes. By the way, sealed that deal, so they're going to be formidable next season. Oh, they'll season. be. They'll be. Yeah, so, Very strong. Um, coming. Um, jumping from the second division to the first division, straight title contender. So it should be a lot of fun. And? Thanks to them. Manila Jeepney. Ah, oh, Manila Jeepney going up to this first division as well. And <laughs> sorry, Pasar God. And <laughs> Just Pasar God. Just Pasar God. So thanks to our sponsors. Uh, you guys uh, help us allow, uh, you guys help us to do this program, allow us to talk to wonderful people. I like these three lovely ladies. Uh, continue to support the show. Uh, subscribe on iTunes and check us out on uh, your Android device store. I don't know. I have an iPhone. May tatanong sa nao ni Joyce pero na off the table. All right, guys. Thank you for supporting the program. We love you very much. <laughs> Coach Hans, um, guest. <laughs> You'll know when we know. Peace. See bro. you, man. The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised.